Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you will not regret it. You'll return to subscribe. As always, welcome back. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a personal email address set up for you to view it and contact me personally. You have any ideas that make a good uh, video topic for the listening audience or you want to say something to me personally? By all means, guys, you can drop me a line here. Over here is my personal uh, YouTube mailing address. You guys want to send me any type of material or anything that you think I would like, you know, because you guys bring that up a lot. By all means, uh, you can drop it off there, and I'll shout you out at your own discretion. We have the Cash App. I'm planning the Memphis Meetup later on this month, and uh, if you guys want to contribute, I'd appreciate it. You can make a better experience for everybody that's going to come out there and meet and greet. If you guys can't make it, no harm, no foul. Guys, listen, I want to jump into this real quick. Now, I watched that city council meeting in Memphis. You know, with C.J. Davis early today, and I got to be honest, between me watching that and trying to do videos, it didn't put me a little bit behind. But um, I've seen what the news has said about it, and they summarized it better than I could have said it at the time I was watching it. So kudos to the news. But check it out. It's already been established that the investigation in the Tyree Nichols case is coming to a close or has closed. And they're supposed to be letting out 20 hours of video that has not been released to the public. Remember, I told you guys in another video, they had videos out that the media and us didn't have access to. Now, starting tomorrow, they're going to start letting this out. Now, supposedly, they're going to do a release. You know, I guess a massive release to where, you know, we're all going to get hit with all of this new information at one time. Now, honestly... I don't know how they got 20 hours. I don't even know what the 20 hours entails. But I think it's going to be significant to what happens on May 1st. As far as, you know, the, the five officers that's going to be uh, caught up. But listen, I'm going, to see, I'm going to show you something real quick. This is from ABC. What is it? ABC. I forgot the number. In Memphis. ABC News in Memphis. And uh, they said a couple of things that I think you guys might like to hear. And the lady at the end, one of the city council members, said something that was really telling. I want you guys to check it out and uh, tell me what you think, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Here we go. Well, moving on now with the investigations by Memphis Police and Fire winding down. Memphis City Council is now finalizing new rules to prevent a Tyree Nichols situation from ever happening like this again. Our Jay Shakur is live at Memphis City Hall. So, Jay, I understand two ordinances have already passed tonight. Can you tell us more about them? That's right. Action has been taken on two of those ordinances, with one being tabled. The ordinance to establish a procedure for an annual review of the police training academy has passed, as well as the ordinance to require MPD to make traffic stops in the appropriately marked vehicles. That passed as well, with the ordinance to clarify the appropriate methods of enforcing traffic violations being tabled. I spoke to activists earlier today who say all six ordinances must pass in order for any reform taken up by the city, the city council to be meaningful. For the Memphis City Council, Tuesday marked a final push to get six proposed Memphis police and fire reform ordinances across the finish line and passed. The measures were sparked by Tyree Nichols' beating by several MPD officers in January. I think we have some council members wavering. We went from overwhelming support to a slight majority, but a majority is enough to get it done. I think our job as a council is to reflect the will of the people of Memphis, and the people of Memphis are saying they want some reform. If approved, the ordinances, among other things, would limit MPD using unmarked cars and make it easier for the public to review citizen complaints of first responders online. Line. MPD Chief C.J. Davis and the department already beginning its own reforms. The last several weeks we have really taken a, a, a closer look into not just our policies and procedures but, but just best practices. MPD said they'll now randomly review body-worn camera footage. They're also changing the criteria for how officers are chosen for special crime initiatives. Those with criminal justice reform group Decarcerate Memphis said MPD's promised changes aren't good enough without the city council approving its own measures. My question is, why is, why is that just now happening? Four out of five of them had, I guess we can call them flags, in their personal records. 
Um, and again, this is this is not a proactive response. Moving forward, City Council Member J.B. Smiley also wants pension reform looked at for those who violate MPD policy. The city's chief legal officer said a lieutenant who supervised the MPD officers and on scene the night of Tyree Nichols beating retired before he would have been fired in a disciplinary hearing. We have to figure out ways that we can remove this. We have to figure out ways to change the existing law so that taxpayer dollars are not going to individuals who commit egregious acts. This is a problem. This has been an existing problem for a very long time. Like I said, it's not a loophole. It's part of the contract and they all knew that. Okay guys, you heard it. They said uh, it's going to be uh, 20 hours of video coming out. And uh, I want to point out a few things. First thing is they said they passed two of the six ordinances so far, right? It said there's a review on police training at the academy, which I think is a good thing because if you go back and look at the video, it seems like all them cops was out of shape and didn't know what the hell he was doing or how to apprehend this guy. Second thing is uh, the traffic stops, and this is the big one. You know, and this I think this will help out a lot. It says the traffic stops have to be in appropriately marked police cars so nobody can pull up on you in an unmarked car no more and run down on people like the Scorpion team was unit, unit, unit was doing. So that's a good thing. But, um... You see how I had made the video, and I caught a lot of flack for that. When I said, hey, I got some sources out there, and I'm finding this stuff out, and everybody was like, oh, where's your sources? Who's your sources? Oh, you're lying, this and that. I told you. Before it was even known, I told you. Seventh officer was the dude standing there. Up and quit and retired real quick before he even got a chance to get in trouble. And I'm going to tell you something. We're going to stand there for a second. Did you see his face when he was standing? He kept staring at Tyree. He probably was thinking already of an out. Okay, this right here is bad. Because he never said nothing like, hey, why is he this? Why is he that? Remember I said that about him? I said maybe he need to be in jail too because he ain't seemed like he was trying to render aid. He just stood there looking like, oh, this is bad. That's what I think was going on in his head with his face. He kept standing there. He like, okay, this is enough for me. The game and passed me by. And he ran his ass and got up out of there. And what did they say? You, Memphis, the taxpayers got to pay for that. You got to pay for that situation. And that's the part that's crazy. 20 hours of video. I don't know where. I don't know. I, somebody help me. I mean, I'm not that legally a deck. What do you think the 20 hours of video is? I mean, I don't think he was, he was not there no 20 hours. So what do you think that is? Just internal investigations and stuff like that? I mean, I don't even know where they get this video from. But I think, I'm going to tell you something. I think C.J. Davis is sweating under that collar. I think she's sweating. Because this investigation, now they say it's over. Tomorrow when they start releasing this, and I'm going to be all over it. So get ready. They're going to have a lot of juicy details in this thing that we wasn't even thinking about or knowing about. And it's going to be surprising to all of us. And I think she knows she's on the hot seat. If you've seen the city council meeting today, you hear the stupidness she said? Oh, we're going and taking appropriate measures to uh, go over the uh, body cams uh, randomly. That right there, when they were talking about it earlier, and this is why I wanted to wait for the news to sum it up to make sure I had the story correctly. They wasn't even looking at the body cams when they were turning them back in. That's why they were turning them on and turning them off. That's why the complaints, the people, the police department wasn't listening to it because they thought the people was lying. They wasn't, they wasn't, what, you know, they, they have uh, certain people that's supposed to be looking at these body cams. They weren't even doing it. Wasn't even doing it. And they knew it. That's why they could go on the street and just beat the hell out of people because they know there wasn't nobody behind them supervising them, watching them. They were just goons and bad, just doing what the fuck they wanted to do whenever they wanted to do it. It was. And, and that's crazy. It's no type of adequate supervision. I had said that. And it's, man, they get what they get. C.J. Davis needs to get out of there. You the chief, the top cop, and you going in there and acting like you just as dumbfounded as anybody else. We're taking the appropriate measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. You should have been dead. See what the lady said there in the city council member? You should have never got to this. Should have never got to this. Why now? How y'all not looking at the body cam? What was y'all doing the whole time? She's sitting there looking dumb. Looking stupid. You can't answer the questions. You can get out the door too. Then you let that man retire when he was in trouble just like everybody else. And he know it. You see his face. But look at the video. He's standing there like, just staring at him. Just looking at Tyree. Because he knew, okay, this is bad. Hemfield jumped his ass out too. 
Hemphill resigned. He retired. Everybody jumped off the boat except those that was chained to it. These six idiots that did that shit. Five inches that did that shit. See how that go? But guys, anyway, listen. Tomorrow, I'm going to be st staying tuned to this. And I'll be dropping videos. I might drop three, four videos on just this subject by, by itself. So all y'all that hate this, y'all get ready. Because, I mean, this is going to be... Man, I thought... Uh, and I'm anxious to see May 1st. Because I don't know what's going to happen May 1st. Because well, they didn't really announce it. But me being, you know, incarcerated before, what I'm thinking on May 1st, what it's going to be, this is just me and my opinion. If somebody knows the law or anything that's in Memphis, because I was never locked up in Memphis, explain this to me if you could in the comments. I think that uh, on May 1st, they're going to be presented with, you know, because certain charges will be going up, you know, certain charges will be on them. And when you get the discovery and all this stuff, a lot of the charges they say in the public, when they get the discovery, a lot of charges won't be on there because the DA and stuff goes through it and be like, okay, we'll throw this off. Some charges fall off, some get added in rare cases. So they'll know how much these, these officers know how much time they're facing so that they can prep their defense. That's what I think is going to happen on uh, May 1st, the preliminaries. But I mean, I may be wrong. I don't know how it is in Memphis Law. You guys let me know. But guys, this will be interesting tomorrow. And um, we're going to see. But um, as always, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave me a comment, man. Tell me what y'all think. Stock Market Steve, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.